as you can see today, we're just gonna focus on main story. We may do some separate story, uh, not story, but um, skill grinding. As of right now, I think our next story mission, we have to train with the, the guard, quick. My respects to you. I'm here for training. You're that boy, Sir Ratzik, sir. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it, then. That's what Sir Ratzik wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simple. Very well. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. Good luck to you. Let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly. And keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. Right, good. Now, try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. Pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. We already, good. We already know the basic, but it's still so good. Good. To get some training. All right. Sword. Good. As you see, that by that's just leveling. Slashing, sword stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Ah. Very good. Mm. Ah, that's it. Ah. Nice. Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out. Move your sword into the path of the blow. Nice. Ah, that's it. Very good. Nice. Very well, then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Good strike. Oh. I'm gonna be in a corner. Okay, can I get out of the corner, please? Ah! Fine. That's enough. My work cut out, it seems. That's life. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. 
Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. All right. Good. Very good. Not bad. Well done. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. Ow. Well done. Ah. No, not like that. You mustn't hold the sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Catch the rhythm. You see the sword move, you move at the same time and deflect it. Ow. All right. No. All right. Right. Now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate I blocked. block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Ah. Well done. Ah. Ah. Well done. Try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Okay, shit. Ow. Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. Simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. All right, try it. It's 
important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. And the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. You'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Ow. Wrong! All right! All right! Wrong! <sighs> Not bad. Cut. Now try to look quicker. Time. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Uh, I moved, but okay. Very good. 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 And the last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Trying, damn! Prepare to strike by holding R2 then change zone and release a strike. Let's go! <sighs> not like that! <clears throat> no, not like that! <clears throat> Wrong! Again! <clears throat> well done! It? Ugh. Wrong. Ugh. Very good. Ugh. No, that's not. Oh, man, I gotta get Sophie off the fucking counter. Wasn't too bad. Maybe it will make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Whenever you've got nothing better to do and you're in the mood for it, you can come and train here with me. I can teach you something more when you're up to it. Perfect. Okay. Don't leave yet. Sir Radzik also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with Can I ask? No. Thank you. We're gonna skip That's all, all I that. I wanted to know. I'll be with you. I feel quite hungry. So we leveled up strength quite a bit. So we have grave digger carrying dead or unconscious bodies won't cost you anesthesia. Any stamina? You can carry 15 pounds more. Yeah, let's do that. But we did level up. So defense quite a bit and sword. So I'm quite happy about that. thing about games like these, they walk so fucking slow.
Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks and get in position. Now concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow. Aim for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment. And then release the string. No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. As if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement. The arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Yeah, I think it's like level 5 when um, you actually get a crosshair for your bow. That's it then. I don't like to say it, but it wasn't that bad. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. A braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well, any time. No, Very Henry. Well. No. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. Good. Then let's get to it. I lost. That's okay. Congratulations, Sir Hans. Nicely shot. Thank you, Bernard. It seems I get to keep the bow. So, blacksmith, do you know your place now, or do you need more reminding? Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hans has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. You're going to... 
Middle unguarded a lot. You'll pay for that. I'm just gonna keep poking him with the pointy end. Even then, it looks like I get to keep my bow and you your groschen. I suppose I should give you credit for taking on my challenge, despite your limitations. Thank you, sir. Godspeed, blacksmith. And don't worry, this isn't the last time we'll meet. We'll have more fun like this again soon. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. I hope he has. Watch it, boy. A few of my men have won fights against him before and never had a problem. But you could be the first. Now go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. See if we can find some food. Ooh, 
Okay, boy. Let's put the torch away. We don't need it. So we, we leveled up a decent amount of stuff right there, which is good. We have a new main level perk. And then I think it was defense as well. Every time I mute, it's not because I want to don't want to talk to you guys, it's because my cats are literally crackheads and will not stop knocking stuff over. God be with you. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can count on me, Bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have. And I have the bruises to prove it. The captain doesn't hold back. The harder the training, the easier the battle. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. Alright, first off, let's get some better gear. Because... This is stolen gear, and I'm sure it's not the best. Before we do that, let's go ahead and get this shit up. Firm grip seems interesting. Blocking your strikes will cost an opponent 15% opponent more stamina. Or if you beat your opponent in a clinch, your damage, you'll damage his weapon 15% more. Let's go ahead and go with firm grip because if I damage somebody's weapon, I'm gonna want to sell it. And I didn't realize we uh, leveled up sword. Let's go with this. And then main level. Ooh, shit, we got a lot. Some of these perks are weird. You'll last 30% longer without food, but as soon as you'll get hungry, the effects will be 20% worse. When dirty, you'll have 50% more charisma when talking to women. However, people will smell you a mile off, reducing your stealth skill by 30%. Your stamina will regenerate 10, 20 times faster at night, but 10% slower during the day. Jesus. I mean, the only thing I can really think of is, uh... I'll do Insomniac. That seems fine to me. 
Alright, so that's everything leveled up. Hi, my love. Pick up your kit in the lower room of the armory. Okay. Where's my kit? I am very confused. This is now, this is where I need to go, right? That's in sure. Shit. Oh well. All right. And since I tr fuck. Excuse me, Jesus. Dude, these cats are tweaking. I will get my stuff later. Just lost so much money, but that's okay. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? You report for duty dressed like that? Well, I've got nothing better to do. You'd look more frightening with a pitchfork. Go and get kitted out first. I tried. Where do I go for that? They'll have something for you at the armory. Didn't the bailiff tell you? The armory's in a bastion of the city walls, the last tower before the upper gate on the right-hand side. Oh, okay. Literally in the armory, but get accused of fucking stealing. This game is too buggy sometimes. I love it, it's entertaining, but Jesus Christ.
Okay. I'm very confused. That's that's normal in this. I was told to pick up a kit here. Oh my lord, Jesus. Nine. Henry. And? In fealty too? Sir Radzik Kobola? Hmm. Yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home. Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all. You want a kiss and a hug as well? I mean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. Again, this is what I mean about it being overly difficult for some reason. Born. I see he's talking to more uh, highborn people than lowborn people. Okay. We have our our stuff. It took me fucking forever, but we did it. Drop some stuff. Eight pounds over. So yeah. Did we get anything else? Just hoping he's still there. If I had just waited a couple of minutes, I wouldn't have lost essentially 60, 60 coin. I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honor to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I, um... I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? I wanted to enter the service of Saradzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Sir Radzig must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, 
I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. All right, let's do this. This is our church, St. Matthew's. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lipa, our masters. The gravedigger lives right round the corner. The priest, too, our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. And the jail. Which reminds me, I don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. Damn, man. The swordsmith lives here. What the hell is going on here now? Just run go and check it out, Henry. You won't go to the church. Go back to your people. I don't want you here. Is that... What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. What's the problem here? This is my shop. And I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in the square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. Can't you show her some Christian charity, Armour? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you oh, get any boy. arms or not? Yes. From the armorer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. And that's true. What would you know about it? I don't know what to pick because I feel like I'm going to fail these right here. Here, Jane. Take this and be on your way. Yes. Yes, thank you. I'll go right away. Right away. God bless you, Henry. And what happens if she comes again tomorrow? You give her more? You're making a mistake. Give them coin once and you'll never see the back of them. If you say so. Shit. I felt that. Your old neighbors are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to the Hanush. If the town burgers got their way, your folk wouldn't be let anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sahanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sahans Capon. Sahans's father, old Sayeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sahanush is managing the fiefdom until Sahans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here.
Can I find somebody? This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. Let me find somebody. Come on, let me do it. We've also got the baker's shop here, and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. How old is she? Tis the question. Look here. How old am I? See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right. I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the Trader's Tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble. Like he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, wouldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. Hey. What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Skullix. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sasau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed. Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. Can I have better weapons, please? Never mind.
God be with you, Vanesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yeah. So he went for a nail. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. I'll punch him in the back of the head, wake him up. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Nah. Move your carcass and don't guard the gate. Uh, I... Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Or oh, God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! I thought I was supposed to be dealing with him. Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. I'm the amount of whiplash, man. One beer. My pleasure. That fool got me all worked up. Me as well, the lazy bastard. My words exactly, and just when we need every pair of eyes. You never know when the Cumans might creep up on us. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Why not? Okay. So, oh, bring it on! What the fuck? Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Enjoy it. Hmm. I could do with something to eat. Hmm. Your turn. Understand it, but you know. That's it. God's holy hat. Hey, you. Jesus. You men spill more than you drink. Damn.
Oh shit, stop. Stop. Okay, I, I think I got the hang of it. He, he won. A bit of luck yeah. at last. But I think I understand it. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet, but here in Rate we close up at nice this indeed, hour. Even though Except I lost. of course during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. The bell is hanging outside the rat house. Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. I have so many torches, man. Okay. Let's go ring this bell. Excuse me. Hey. However, it looks like we have a side thing. Oh no, it's just a... <laughs> talking Teresa. I am the collector of torches. On my other playthrough of this, the one that I had in 2018, I had... Ten torches in my inventory. Ten. Shit, I need this. I would like to bleed slower. Broker spoke on my cartwheel again. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we can, we, can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good cannon on his pig. Stay <laughs> 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 to find him. <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsia <laughs> on its head. <laughs> <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God save the bacon. <laughs> Sir Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to... <laughs> Buyers around. <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was oh, you, he's a dick. get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. 
He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What, is he hiding under the table, maybe? <laughs> no, then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough. You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. Shit. I can't do unarmed fighting, man. Stop her, dealer. Give that bastard something to remember you by. Teach that insolent pup a lesson. I really like saying that word. Yeah, like, what in the name of Christ is happening here? Kill somebody. Hell! Answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence. to. Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans, how many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Ooh, hunting. Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Ooh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. Sir, I have responsibilities of the bailiff. Not I anymore. Can't... Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. <laughs> Alright, guess we're going hunting. Besties! Oh, the thing is, is I, I don't think I have anywhere to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have a place to sleep. time. No one is allowed to creep around here without a light after dark. You were seen doing it, and you'll pay for oh, it. This definitely God. won't come cheap. You'll learn. Crime <laughs> doesn't pay. All right, 
Here you are. You've purged yourself before the law. Just shut up. Leave me alone, please. Hey, you! Don't move a muscle! I paid you your fucking fee. Stop right where you are! You must have fired from here. Oh, my lord. Again, this game is extremely buggy for no apparent reason. I'm gonna lose my mind if I have to pay another fucking fee. Stop right there. I have to search you. The fuck are you? What? What the fuck did I do? Such are my orders. If you insist. All's well. Mind how you go. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. My God. Here I am. I'm overjoyed. Have you got a horse? No, sir. Where would someone like me get a horse? Good point. Unless it was a cart horse, I suppose. Well, you'll just have to trot along behind me like a good dog. But, sir, isn't there a horse I could borrow? Oh, certainly. Why don't you just have mine? Or, then again, you can just run alongside as befits a peasant. God be with you. Uh, I'm gonna murder this kid. There's literally two horses right next to each other, man. He's not mean, he's a dick. I can. If I kill him in the wo in the woods, I get. I think I tried that in a previous playthrough, and it immediately like ended my game. So can't do that. What are we doing, man? business at the alehouse. Yes, sir. Hanush was right. I should have behaved differently. More, well, gentlemanly. But that doesn't that mean man. you were in the right. You can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own town. Understand? Yes. I, I was just... What? Speak up! Don't worry, I won't bite your head off. It's just that when you said those things in the arena, sir, I, I was... Um little upset. Ah, I'd just like to tease Greenhorn a little. And you vexed me too. You were insolent to Captain Bernard and they rewarded you with service. Whenever I do anything reckless, even if it's for my honor, Hanush is on my back about it and I get punished, like now. I didn't mean to threaten anyone. 
Well, it's all water under the bridge. Let's not spoil our hunt. I mean, at least he kind of apologized. I need to find food, dude. Let us talk of something else. Is this your first time hunting? This kind? Yes. I've been hunting since I could walk. If you're not a complete blockhead, you might learn something useful. And if you don't cock it up entirely today, maybe I'll take you again. It's always helpful to have a minion at hand. As I said, I have hunted before, but it wasn't... Chasing bunnies with a pitchfork isn't hunting. Observe and learn. I'll do the best I can, sir. He apologizes and then is immediately a dig. Listen, I wanted to ask you about Scallop. I don't know if um, that is so. Uh, I don't know if that's a suitable topic of conversation for the hunt. How did I fail that I looked away for one second? Okay, well. My bad, I guess. Yes, <laughs> very much so. I mean, I guess I'll just go ahead and run forward. Wait, how far away is the... God damn! Running for uh, a little bit. Can I steal any of these? No, I cannot. Okay. Odd. Hopefully, there's food because I'm losing a lot of my stamina. I could pick flowers, but yeah, let's let's pick up some. No, like it's like running after him is fine, but the fact that this this camp is so far away. thing is, like you saw, the more flowers I pick, the more points and the strength I'll get as well. So it's worth it's worth picking up flowers. But today is a uh, main mission base. Do you have some food I can eat? Help? 
me. I'm, I'm starving. <laughs> Get there when I get there, I guess. Dude, essentially, yeah. Sworn I had a horse. Oh no no no! Because uh, we forgot to grab a. I think our horse died in the beginning when we were fleeing from Scalitz. I know that if I didn't take my eyes off of him for like 10 seconds, it would have like auto skipped ahead to us there. Oh, God damn it, my stomach hurts. Slowly but surely. I think we're close. Yeah, we're close. It took a while, man. Man, 
yet somehow we uh, beat them here. Coming up, sir. At long last. So, are you enjoying being on the hunt? I am, although we haven't actually hunted anything yet. That doesn't matter. Hunting is a diversion. The main thing is to get out of Rate for a while. Listening to Hanush's lectures all day long would drive anyone mad. How come Hanush looks after you anyway? For a start, he doesn't look after me. I'm not an infant blacksmith's boy. Hanush is just managing my property until I'm an adult. When will that happen? What are you implying? Nothing. I didn't mean it like that. I meant that you seem quite adult to me already, sir. Well... It's hard to say. Before he died, my father appointed a council of nobles to decide the matter. Only they can't be bothered travelling halfway across the country just to assess the claim of some stripling. Under normal circumstances, it wouldn't be necessary. The king would decide on my adulthood. Only... The king is gone. Just so. If I may ask, sir, what does a lord like you do all day? When I was little, I was awfully bored, I can tell you. There was always some courtier or teacher dogging my footstep. Now I spend most of my time trying to learn from Sir Hanush. Governing is no joke, at least most of the time. Only last week I had to listen to complaints from my subjects. But that could be interesting too, couldn't it? <laughs> my lord, this yokel here empties his piss pot in my yard. And sir, that old hag put a spell on my cow, and sir, my old woman is fucking half the village. Like a flock of sheep bleating all the time, even study is more interesting. What are we going to hunt? Cumans. What? Cumans? <laughs> you should see your face! <laughs> I got you there! <laughs> We'll see what we can get, but I'd like to bag a boar, one at least, and a few hares too, eh? But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now your tongue's loosened. So, tell me about Scalix. I heard Sigismund had a hundred banners there. I don't know, sir. I didn't have time to count them. It's not easy for me to talk about, sir. My parents were killed right in front of my eyes. But couldn't you do anything about it? I mean to say, didn't Radzig put up a defence? They caught us unprepared. There was no time for anything. I wanted to save my parents, but it was too late. All right, then. I was only asking. I'm sorry, sir. I, I didn't mean... That's all right, Henry. Don't mind me. Sometimes I open my mouth before thinking, too. Well, never mind. It's time to set off. Say a prayer to Saint Hubert he's for us, nice, will you? Saint Hubert. He's irritable. The patron saint of hunters, of course. Let's go. What are you waiting for? Your lord requires you for the hunt. Oh, really? Such a renowned hunter needs help. You wouldn't dare mock your betters now, would you? Heaven forbid, your lordship. If that's the way you want it, peasant. 
We'll meet back here at noon. Whoever has the most hairs wins. Oh, and if you don't have anything to shoot with, there's a crate in the camp with some old hunting equipment. Uh, he's going to win because After all, there's no sport in trouncing some wretch who hasn't a chance in hell. Maybe I was a bit hasty, sir. Too late, dung grubber. You can't back out now. And now turn your back for a while. I know a few tried and tested spots in these woods, and I don't want you stealing them. Well, fuck. Okay. I'm just going to follow him until he reaches the spot. Sophie. I freaked out Sophie. We're gonna, we're gonna skip ahead because I'm not good at this. So. <laughs> Sophie. Let's wait one more hour. one. I 
I do remember this. Uh, Hans gets abducted by humans, and we gotta go save him. He's right there. <laughs> How did the hunt go for you, sir? Have we got enough hairs? Show me. It looks like we're as bad as each other. And now, come along. Let's go and hunt some real game. This is when he gets abducted, because we go and chase after a boar. Henry, mount up and let's go hunting. I did struggle with this the first time that I played it, so you might see some deaths. Just like that, slow and quiet, whatever you do, understand? But well, watch out for them from the top of that mound there. Take him down with an arrow. Certainly. Why? Why wouldn't I? You won't kill him like that. The boar is hunted with spears. Is that so? So now all of a sudden you're a master huntsman, are you? Watch and learn. Did you see that? <laughs> Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Quiet. So. Next time you try to tell me I can't kill a boar with an arrow, you can... Fuck! After him! Fetch! Mount up, Henry! Chase down that swine! 
I don't have the letters, you asshole. I don't mean to keep muting, like just every single time something happens, Sophie <laughs> jumps up onto the the desk, and I gotta knock her down. that requires a oh, minimum agility. Fuck. Uh, well. <coughs> That's what's happening. what we got. But first, <laughs> let's save. Because I'm not dying and then having to restart. This is tricky because I don't have good. What are you gaping at, you blue fly? Never seen a real man before? Yep, there we go. I have really bad stats when it comes to archery. Fuck. You wretches! Your mother shut you out! And your sisters have bigger cocks than you! Mule! Keep them lads Like you're the bullet chart! He's done a video! Better be shit! You! Fuck! Rapid! Your mother's shut you out! And your sisters have bigger cocks than you! Emberic! Oh shit! Dude, it was so difficult for me last time. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Bandage. I'll take your bow, your dry food. Take that actually, and that as well. Ooh, shit. Okay. Uh. 
I need to drop stuff. Hate dropping stuff, but you know. Let's try lock picking this. Nothing. Perfect. Okay. Shit. Oh, okay. We got some good stuff right here. Henry! Henry! I'll have a bronze bust made of you, my friend. But where have you been till now? Oh, you know, I was picking berries, had a drink of wine, took a little nap. <laughs> you lunatic! They almost had me roasting on a spit! <laughs> I'd say it looked more like they were about to take your maidenhood. Now look here, dung grubber. Is that any way to speak to a nobleman? I apologize, sir. I'm just glad you're all right. <laughs> I'm yanking your piddle, you dolt. Thank you for rescuing me. That wound doesn't look good, Sir Hans. You're right. Those cumin swine roughed me up a bit. And my damned horse has bolted. You'll have to get me home somehow. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Who knows how many bandits are creeping around here. Let's go, then. I've had quite enough excitement already. Right. Hopefully it fast travels us. Okay, perfect, because I'm not walking all the way there. Get here, everybody! You, help him! Thanks, man. I took him down pretty easily. I thought I was going to struggle a little bit more with it. How is it possible, Rat? Those bastards make so bold no more than a mile from the castle. We'll have to send out more patrols. That won't do us any good, Hanush. Even if we had ten times the men, we couldn't beat through every thicket in the fiefdom. You sent for me, sir? Come in. I don't know how to thank you, Henry. If it wasn't for you, Hans would be dead. And to think I sent you out with him as a punishment. I was only doing my duty, sir. Don't be so modest, young Henry. You showed not only courage, but loyalty to your liege. That's why I'm taking you into my personal service. <laughs> sir, I... Uh... Thank you, sir. Well, let's celebrate your promotion and Sir Hans's recovery. Well, don't just stand there, lad. Pour us a drink. I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but I've urgent tidings. What now? A stable boy came from Neuhof. He says brigands raided the stud farm this morning. There's many dead or maimed. <laughs> 
Tell us exactly what happened. I'm not sure. The boy was so shook up he could barely speak. He said the bandits murdered for the joy of it. I'm sorry, sir. Your vassal Smill is dead. Who did this? Who were they? We don't know, sir. The stable boy just kept babbling about some huge fellow in black armor who led the attack. Take as many men as you need, and don't stop until you've found those bastards. And bring me their heads! Yes, sir. My men at your disposal, too, Manush. Thank you, friend. Sir, let me ride with them. He's full of piss and vinegar, isn't he? Their leader. He must be the one who attacked me at Scalitz. There can't be two men in the whole kingdom who look like that. You think he might still have my sword? No doubt you could use another swordsman, Captain. Uh, as you command, my lord. How soon can you leave, Bernard? Can I have better As soon as the please? men are ready, sir. Good. Wait in the courtyard for Henry. And uh, give him a horse. Uh, yes. His own mount? His reward for saving Sir Hans. He'll need it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, go! I want these culprits in the hands of the executioner as soon as possible. I won't let you down, sir. Show me what you have on you. Dude, why, why do they keep stopping me? What's going on? Such are my orders. If you insist. All's well. Mind how you go. Okay. I am going to pause right... I'm going to pause right there so I can go to the bathroom real quick. Give me a second. Let's get this going. What are we overloaded on? First off, let's go ahead and sell some stuff. Because I can take some of the items to the armor smith and hopefully get a decent penny for it.
I don't even want to know why I lost reputation for walking. His name is Pebbles. I love it. Pebbles is a cutie patootie, okay? talk and then you disappear that's not the kind of man i need but i we waited for you while people here suffered damn it we could have caught the ones who did it and because of you they've run off because i silence i don't want to hear it may the lord watch over you i haven't made the best start of it but maybe i can still be of some help what are you loitering here for you have a job to do Smell, the stud farm owner. I saw him in Scallets a few times. His poor widow. Ask. Oh, okay. I. I can come back later if you. No. I saw you came with the soldiers, and the sooner you know everything, the sooner you'll catch those savages. 
I'm sorry to trouble you, ma'am, but could you tell me about the raid? The noise woke us up. Me and Smil. We thought the horses were restless, or maybe some drunk had staggered here from the inn. Go on. My husband went out to see what was going on. Then I just heard loud voices and screaming. It's so stupid. It didn't even occur to me at first that something could have happened to Smil. I didn't find out until the morning. Did you recognize any of the voices you heard? No, but they spoke Czech, cursing like demons, even at each other. At each other? They quarrel? Yes. Something must have happened. And where did you hear this noise? Everywhere. It was chaos. I don't even know how many of them there were. I mean at the very start. Do you remember where you heard the noise come from then? I don't know. I just don't know. Did you get a look at them? There's one man, huge, and dressed all in black. Did you see him? No, I didn't. Who should I question about the raid? Did anyone here see anything? Jakob, the old stable boy. He even fought with them. From what I've heard, Mark was the first one to wake. It might be a good idea to talk to him. Ginger was sleeping in the stable. He might have seen something. I don't know of anyone else. Right. Take care. This poor lady. How could anyone be so cruel? Another useless soldier coming to ask questions. You should have fucking been here last night. What's wrong with your arm? Oh, oh dear. That looks painful. That's all you gotta say about it. You useless prick. Oh, okay. I was just trying to help. What in the world happened here? The bastards attacked us. At night. A little before dawn. And how did you come by that wound? I heard someone talking, so I went to look outside. Then I saw what they'd done to the horses. I shouted at those bastards. Caught one by the cloak and started beating him. Without a weapon? With just your fists? Yeah. But he cut me pretty good, the fucker. Lucky for me the other started to come out then, so the raiders ran. All that's left is his cloak. There's one man in particular, huge, dressed all in black, voice loud enough to crack stone. Did you see him? Who the fuck do you think half killed me? So he really was here. The bastard. Can you help me? Help you? And how have you helped me? And you've got no idea why they did it? Something must have gone wrong for them. They ran off without taking anything. Okay. Good luck to you. So we talk to him. What are you loitering here for? You have a job to do. You literally have a qu you have a quest marker above your head. I'm getting tired of the useless fucking anger towards me. How could anyone be so cruel? Poor wretch. He must have crawled here. If it was the horses they were after, there'll be even more of them by the main stables. Are you well? 
Leave me alone. Go away. But there's no need to be afraid. With your help, I'll find those bastards and then I'll make them pay. They... they deserve it. What... what do you need to know? What actually happened here? They... they killed the animals and... <laughs> why did they kill them? Did they take anything? No. Think carefully now. How did it all start? We... We heard the animals, their shrieks, then smell. He shouted, and they murdered him. You're certain it was the animals first, and then smell, not the other way round? I'm certain. I'd never heard a sound like that before. Now I'll never forget it. What happened after that? We ran outside, and it was chaos. Animals were dying, the stables were burning, and those demons everywhere. The stables were already burning. Didn't that happen after they fled? No. It was to set the blaze when they arrived. You said they were demons? No, just vermin. Worthless human vermin. How many of them were there? Not many. There were... Just a few that came after us, but more round the back. I heard them yelling at each other. So they were yelling because of all the noise? No, something happened. They quarrelled. In the back? Where? Towards the woods. To the north. They were trying to get away. Where? Where did they run to? To the north. Into the woods. So some of them were running away, and the others were fighting? Aye. Oh, for a time. Then more of us came out, and we fought back, so the others fled as well. Thanks. That's all I needed to ask. I think he's lying. Farewell. How could anyone be so cruel? Okay, Henry, Jesus Christ. Why did they have to kill you? What? Who's there? Easy. I just came to ask. I don't know anything. Are you hurt? No, no, nothing. Not a scratch. What really happened here? I don't know. Someone attacked. I, I don't know who. You didn't happen to hear where they came from? No! I didn't see a thing! I know. I'm probably so upset with all these animals being dead. Let's go ahead and explore the woods north. So I've taken a look at hardcore for this game 
and the map is extremely difficult to look at. It takes away all of the markers, you can't fast travel, which makes sense. But I I think I would lose my mind, to be honest with you. practically impossible for somebody who already gets super lost. Found them. Okay. Case in point, I am already lost. Deeper and deeper, for sure. That was actually a pretty decent fight. We 
didn't get hit as much as I thought we were going to be. What else did he have? Torch, padded coif, leather glove, hair meat. Ooh, we have way too much nourishment. That's not good. I'm fucking dying here. Nobody can match me with iron in their hands, and uh, some damn peasant kills me. <laughs> Dagger covered in horse shit. Someone in Neuhof must know more about it. Perfect, okay. We are a little bit over encumbered, which I kind of expected. But let's go back to Neuhof. Hey, we're getting, we're getting pretty better at the fighting. I will say that. Downside is we're super, super overfed, and that's my bad. I was more so paying attention to my over encumberedness. did here kill them find those horses and kill them yeah i got you okay i guess i can't talk to him do you know whose hoof pick this is gingers he was always bragging about it why do you ask i'm just trying to get the story straight but you won't find ginger here anymore he left. And you don't know where Ginger uh -oh. could have gone? Dunno. Ask Yakul. Good luck to you. He's in on it. Anything about this hoof pick? Yeah, it's Ginger's. He had it made in Mate. Any idea where I might find this Ginger? Well, that's the thing. He packed up and left. What? Look, I know how he looks. 
but Ginger is a fine fellow. I, I don't believe he had anything to do with the attack. Uh, Where could he have fled to? Uh, I might know. But you gotta promise me one thing. When you find him, listen to what he has to say before judging. You have my word. Sometimes the charcoal burners come to see him. He gets on well with them. I think that's where he's gone. Where is that? No idea. They've always kept to themselves, you know, charcoal burners. But the forest is full of folk like that. They could be anywhere. Aye, except these ones won't be far. If you follow the stream from the stud farm towards Rate, you'll come across one of their camps. Only... Only what? Ginger didn't go that way, though. He always went by the big road, through the woods in the direction of Ujits. But how can I find them? There's always smoke when they work. <laughs> You'll smell them before you see them. Well, and they need to be near water. There's that too. So if I go through the woods along running water, I'll find them? Exactly. God be with you. All right. Let me see if he'll talk to me. Good health to you. Any chance of some work here, Captain? It all depends on what you're ready to do, my lad. As I'm sure you've noticed the roads around here are swarming with brigands. Sir Hanush has declared quite a reward for dealing with them. So what do you think I should do about them? We know about one of their encampments. It's to the east of Ratai in an abandoned mine. I don't really mind how you deal with them. Anyway, the leaders generally wear spurs, maybe like they're pretending they're nobility. Who cares? In any case, bring me the spurs, and I'll take it as proof that the deed's done. Very well. I'll see to it. Wait. In addition, Sir Hanush has offered a reward for every bandit who's killed. So take a good sharp dagger. You'll get a bit extra for each ear you bring. Very well. That sounds amusing. Well... As for amusement, I'd entertain myself by being very careful, lad. May the Lord watch over you. All right. Let's get our horse. Come here, pebbles. I like the really monotonous. Yeah. 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 And they are along the river.
God be with you. Have you seen Ginger around here? Who? A boy with ginger hair, a stable boy from Neuhof. No one from Neuhof's been here. God be with you. Liar. If there's something you want, better ask me. Jesus Christ be praised. Could you help me? Depends what you want, doesn't it? I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. They say he ran away and joined up with some charcoal burners he used to hang around with sometimes. Sorry, there's never been a lad called Ginger around here. You have to try somewhere else. Why are they lying to me? Do you have any idea where else he could have gone? You said he was friends with the charcoal burners? Well, you'll definitely find some in the forest between Neuhof and Ujets. There's good spots around there. But that forest is huge. I could spend weeks searching. Then follow the river. That's how you found us, isn't it? Where there's charcoal burners, there's always water nearby. A murder's been committed at Neuhof, and that boy likely knows who did it. It's vital I find him. There's been murder aplenty in these parts of late. But that ginger lad really hasn't been here. There'll be a lot less murdering going on once I bring those bastards to justice. So how about helping me out? Calm down, lad. For the love of God. There's been no one like the boy you want round here. But then again, there are other charcoal burners. Try them. You might mm. want to hurry. You're not the first to be asking about him. And the others weren't exactly a noble-looking bunch. Although they were generous with their silver. They didn't happen to say what they wanted him for? No. But they definitely didn't look like they wanted to invite him to a feast. All right. I'll go and ask somewhere else. God be with you. Okay. Come here, pebbles. Oh shit, my dude's sleepy. However, I think me sleeping may accidentally kill Ginger, knowing my luck. I'm just gonna fast travel. Brr, no, never mind, can't do that. Yeah. We'll be able to get back uh, Sir Radzik's sword during this stream. I have about 30 minutes to complete this before I have to go to bed. Yeah. that I'm an old man, I have to wake up at 4am to go pick up a co-worker and then I have to work 9 hours tomorrow. Yeah, yeah plus I gotta, you know, brush my teeth, put the cats up, 
plug my phone in, you know, the usual. Probably all in bed. Wakey, wakey, achy, bakey. Come to, to demand your time. While you're sleeping, I'm just gonna rob you. <laughs> Nothing of want. But I'll sit here. I'll wait for you. I'll stay here all night if I have to. Hopefully they are ready to talk to. And the good thing is, we are no longer overnourished. Uh, oh my god, get up, bitch, damn. Get up, damn. Mm. <laughs> well, I'm going to use their bed really quick. You can't sleep here. Go and find a bed of your own. Ow! Oh, you're finally up. Good day to you. I'm looking for Ginger from Neuhoff. Do you know anything about him? I know him. What do you want of him? There's a few questions I need to ask him. That's how a nap well, feels you'll have to go work. somewhere else to find him. He doesn't come here much. I really must speak with him. A murder was committed at the stud farm, and that boy probably knows who did it. I have to get him to talk. And you think he had a hand in it? Hard to say. He ran away, but on the other hand, it seems he stabbed one of the attackers. Well, when you put it like that, it's clearly urgent business. I do know him. Uh, not personally, but I've seen him around. He's friends with the charcoal burners down by Townburg. I know he hangs around with the twins there. Downstream by Townburg? Somewhere by the castle? If you follow the river to the west, you're bound to run into them. Oh, one more thing. Yes? Some other men have been around asking about him, but they weren't as uh, 
convincing as you. Yeah, that old watch over here. Okay, so it seems like all of them are looking hey, for just... Get up on I, I'm out of your building. Relax. I'm hoping before I end this that I get to um, fight somebody. Yeah. We've been doing really well with our fight. Fucking behold. I guess. No. No way. Dude. back so far uh oh this is not good this is not good fuck okay I think I know where to go. We're just gonna, we're gonna skip all of that real quick. get all the uh, credit for it, or the XP, but that's fine. Shit. That's not good.
so upsetting. Okay, there's that bridge. Found it. Okay, I'm getting off flowers. Please, 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 please. Good health to you, sir. I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. Then why don't you look for him at the stud farm? He was there. But now they say he's hiding amongst some charcoal burners. And where did you hear that? Anyhow, there's no one of that description here. Try asking somewhere else. And where will I find him? When you travel upstream, you're sure to run into... Look, at <laughs> Well, if you've been sent by Saratik, you can deal with those two criminals who've been lurking around asking about the same boy. And do you know where they are? They won't be far, but I don't know where exactly. From here they headed south, so maybe try there. There are plenty of good hiding places around. So you're saying I should find them and kill them? Just see to it they can't cause any trouble here. And then I'll tell you everything I know. Should I lie? No, I can't, because his is way higher than mine. But I don't know where to look for them. They're always wandering about here. Their hideout must be somewhere nearby. They came here from the east, across the bridge, threw their weight around, and then went back the same way. And I know of only one place in that direction. What place is that? There was a camp between here and the charcoal burners in the east. They're most likely there. We'll lead you. There's no time for that now. First, I have to speak with Ginger. You'll never get to talk to Ginger if they kill him first, will you? Is that the kind of justice you want? That's fair. I'll look for them. The words of a true man. Once you take care of them, come back and we'll talk. Take care now. All right. Um, was... Hey. God be with you. You know something about Ginger? I might have heard something. And if you share a bit of silver with me, I might share what I know. That depends. What do you want in return? A bit of silver never hurt anybody. That story about 30 pieces of silver didn't have a happy ending. Well, then it will have to be more than 30. Try convincing me. Not bad, not bad. Listen up. Ginger has two mates, twins, who are keeping him hidden. Where do they take the food? I don't know. I didn't follow them. Why would I? Thank you. That's... Take care now. Okay. I don't want to fast travel there a lot. Look. The only thing I can really think of is it being right here. Yeah, let's, let's try that. 
still got 13 minutes to figure that out. I should have picked flowers along the way, but that's fine. I know I have a horse, but I feel like it would it would just impede me right now. You know what? Hold on. <laughs> Saving. I'm not dealing with this. Is this the old hunting? Bro, what the fuck? You know what? I don't think I'm gonna get in this one. So, I'm gonna go ahead and end this right here. I will be streaming more of this tomorrow. Um, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.